What if I told you the sun never set on secrets just as much as it never set on the British Empire? Intriguing, isn't it? Imagine an empire so vast and influential, its reach extended beyond the physical into the realm of the clandestine. Today we're embarking on a fascinating journey through time, unravelling the hidden aspects of the British Empire. From concealed treasures to covert operations, there's a lot under the surface, so buckle up and join us as we dive deep into the untold story of power and conquest of the British Empire. The British Empire didn't just appear overnight, it was a product of centuries of exploration, conquest and ambition. Born from the ambitious spirit of a small island nation, the Empire's roots can be traced back to the late 15th and early 16th centuries, a time of maritime exploration and the race for colonies. It was Queen Elizabeth I's reign that marked the beginning of England's venture into global exploration and colonisation. Adventurers like Sir Francis Drake and Sir Walter Raleigh spearheaded voyages to the New World, laying the groundwork for what would become a global empire. Through the 17th and 18th centuries, Britain expanded its reach, establishing colonies in North America, the Caribbean and parts of Africa. The 19th century, often referred to as Britain's imperial century, saw the empire reaching its peak, spreading its influence across the globe. And so, the sun began its never-ending journey over the British Empire. The British didn't just rely on brute force. They were masters of diplomacy, trade and covert operations. Diving into the realm of strategy, it's clear that the British Empire was no novice. They had a knack for navigating the intricate web of international relations, using diplomacy as a tool for expansion. They would forge alliances, sign treaties and engage in negotiations, all in the pursuit of influence and territory. This diplomatic finesse was perhaps most evident in their dealings with local rulers and chieftains, whom they would often persuade or pressure into submission, expanding their empire without a single shot fired. Trade was another cornerstone of their expansion strategy. The British Empire was a giant in the global market, with its fingers in every pie, from spices in India to tea in China and gold in Africa. They established strategic trade routes and monopolies, exploiting resources and driving economic growth back home. But it wasn't all handshakes and trade deals. The British also had a darker side, one of covert operations and espionage. They employed privateers, state-sanctioned pirates to disrupt rival powers and use spies to gather intelligence and destabilize the opposition. This clandestine approach often gave them the upper hand in conflicts and negotiations. In the world of power and conquest, nothing was off the table. The British Empire, with its blend of diplomacy, trade and covert operations, certainly knew how to play the game. The sun may have never set on the British Empire, but it certainly wasn't without its shadows. As the British flag unfurled across continents, it was met with a mix of awe, fear and defiance. The Empire's expansion was not a silent march. It echoed with the cries of resistance and rebellion. Let's take India, for instance. The jewel in the crown of the Empire was not obtained without a fight. The Great Rebellion of 1857, also known as the Indian Mutiny, was a fierce and bloody struggle for independence that rocked the very foundations of the British rule. Then there was the Ashanti resistance in West Africa. The Ashanti Empire, with its powerful army and strategic prowess, fiercely resisted British intrusion for almost a hundred years. It was a clear testament to the indomitable spirit of resistance against the Empire's expansion. And let's not forget the Irish fight for independence. A struggle that spanned centuries, it was marked by acts of defiance and rebellion that culminated in the Easter Rising of 1916, a pivotal moment that eventually paved the way for the creation of the Irish Free State. These are but a few examples of the tapestry of resistance woven into the fabric of the British Empire. The echoes of these rebellions still resonate today, reminding us that the sun may have shone brightly on the Empire, but it cast long shadows of resistance and rebellion Resistance, it seems, was just as much a part of the empire as conquest. With great power came great wealth, and the British Empire was no exception. As the empire expanded its territories, it simultaneously increased its riches. 
From Africa's gold and diamond mines to India's spices and textiles, the empire's coffers overflowed with the natural resources and cultural treasures of its colonies. Trade routes were established, connecting the east and west, and industries flourished, fueling the empire's economic engine. But the accumulation of this wealth was not a one-sided affair. It was a complex interplay of power, economics and often exploitation. Moreover, the empire's treasures were not limited to material wealth. They extended to invaluable cultural artefacts, many of which adorn British museums today. These treasures, however, are the subject of ongoing debates and controversies as nations call for the repatriation of their stolen artefacts. The wealth of the empire was vast, but it was not without controversy. As the sun finally set on the British Empire, it left behind a legacy that is still felt today. It's a legacy etched into the fabric of our modern world in ways we often take for granted. From the English language now spoken by one in five people worldwide to the legal systems that underpin many of today's democracies. Even the maps we use bear the indelible marks of the empire with borders drawn in distant lands, often with little regard for local cultures and histories. Yet, it's not just in the tangible that we find the echoes of the empire, it's also in the relationships between nations, many of which were forged, broken and reforged in the crucible of colonialism. And let's not forget the Commonwealth, a unique political association of 54 member states, nearly all of which were territories of the empire. The sun may have set, but the echoes of the empire can still be heard today. The story of the British Empire is a complex tapestry of power, conquest and resistance. From its rise to global dominance, to the strategies of expansion, the resistance movements, the untold wealth and finally, the lasting echoes of its influence. It's a narrative filled with intrigue, conflict and controversy. As we unravel this story, we invite you to ponder the layers of history and their impact on our present. How should we remember the British Empire today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed our deep dive into the history of the British Empire, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing historical explorations. By clicking the notification bell, you'll be the first to know when we release new content. Your support helps us continue creating and sharing these narratives from the past. As we navigate the labyrinth of history together, your engagement and feedback shape the stories we tell. So don't hold back, share your thoughts, ideas and questions. In our next video, we'll be venturing into another era, another empire. Can you guess which one? Leave your guesses in the comments below. Stay curious, stay engaged and keep the spirit of exploration alive. Until next time.